Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we're checking out the new Springfield Prodigy. This one is completely reworked. Kind of like our previous one we did actually for Springfield Armory uh, when they released the Prodigy. Almost about a year ago now, I feel like. But this one is pretty much maxed out and we'll go ahead and go through it for you. Starting off at the front, 45 degree crown. High polish, beautiful. This guy also has the easy takedown guide rod from EGW. Pretty cool. What else? V6 porting up top near the front sight. Absolutely beautiful. Moving our way back, uh, we have the EPS carry on top of the Agency Arms mounts. Uh, Agency Arms seems to make some of the cleanest mounts uh, for any of the red dots out there, and they definitely do a uh, more thin profile rear sight, which we like too. It's not as blocky as some of the others. Went ahead with the Atlas medium flat trigger, EGW extended slide release. It's got serrations on both sides. It's just really nice out of the box. A little oversized, but um, really, really nice slide release there. Went ahead and recut and checkered at 40 lines per inch, the magazine release. When you bring this in uh, to your workspace as a, as a race gun anyways, you're usually at this angle, dropping out your mag, and your thumb just catches that and just pushes it a little bit easier than straight on because you're angling it. Uh, for that type of manipulation, excuse me. Went ahead and did the Dawson uh, Magwell. This one fits really nice on there. We saw a lot of great reviews uh, about people saying how good these fit as compared to even the, uh, what's that one? The EGW that's made for the Prodigy. And we like that one a lot, but they're out of stock all the time. So that's why we went with this guy. Lasered grips, the single diamond uh, laser grips that are done by our buddy Brian over there at LV Laser Engraving. Great local guy, does great work as you can see. We love the safeties from Wilson Combat. So this is the Wilson Combat extended ambi safety. Just has a really positive click in either direction. It seems to kind of want to go into battery whether you're going on safety or off really quickly and very positively. That's why we love it. Did a ring hammer on this guy, as you can see there. What else, what else? Cerakote is a custom blend. Uh, the gentleman really wanted a this kind of like cool gray that we did. And so it's more on the green tone than the blue tone. So this has a little bit of green that comes through in it. Almost is like a, a cooler, like seafoam foliage green, if you will, uh, green gray kind of blend. It's pretty cool. Other than that, reprofile the trigger guard. So it doesn't have the humps on it. It's just very smooth, very seamless, a little more round than the one in the factory. So it just looks a little more pleasing to the eye for aesthetics. And we're all about aesthetics, of course. Serrated the back of the slide, 40 lines per inch, right into the mounts and the sight, of course. And yeah, she's a looker. Single stage trigger job on this as well. So as our single stages, you guys are probably used to seeing them on most of the guns that we do, there is no take up, that is the wall. Then you're gonna have a break, barely movement on these guys. The reset is almost nothing, slight click. That is it. That is our movement for our trigger. It is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Very safe, quick. I mean, you're gonna shoot this thing like a machine gun if you want to. And being a competition pistol, that's exactly what it's made for. Pretty awesome. Other than that, the gra controls are all done in graphite black. And I believe that's all she wrote. Just an absolutely beautiful piece from the front to the back, the porting, the grip by LV laser engraving. This thing is just gorgeous. And I didn't know how that color would turn out adding that green to the gray and the, and the color blend that we did, but it has a really cool kind of just like northern, northwest kind of forest moss green seafoam. I don't know. It's interesting. But as always, y'all questions, comments, concerns, leave them. As you know, we will answer accordingly. Until next time.